and welcome back to the game that is the sharpest tool in the set. Alan Sharp. And then there's Richard, who isn't the sharpest tool in any oh. shed. I am not the sharpest bulb in the shed, my friend. So you join us as we are looking for the D, which a giant doll stole. And we are now looking for... I'm sure I've looked about a bit. Do I need to look a little bit harder, Lenny? I think you do. Something is missing. Yeah, it's the massive D I was trying to find. Pipe down, you. I can hear you uh, snickering. Ah! There you go. Yeah, I've added letter D to the inventory. Was she there the whole time? Uh, no. She, run, she ran around. So now... We can put the D back in its rightful place. Right. Yes, Richard, you put your D in the rightful place. Yay! Richard, you just broke an entire wall by trying to put your D in it. Boy and a girl, petrified in stone, separated for eternity. Is there a key in the middle of it or something? Let me smash it! Smash it! No, apparently not. So I've got doors here. I love how you ignored exactly what I said. What did you say for? That, um, you, put, you tried to put your D in a wall and you broke it. Yes, I did. The wall, that is. So I'm back here again. No tape play. Oh, the tape plays over there now. Hmm. So I can't remember what we were trying to get to proceed. Oh, we were just trying to get out. <laughs> that the uh, summary of the crack there. I mean, wouldn't you? Oh, God, yeah. that whatever it is all these delicious wine bottles and delicious bottles mmm classy so now we can wander about the house a bit more don't you dare dare what you know no, I don't Paul And if you dare, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. That sounds like a threat. If you dare. <laughs> is there a back? There is no tomb back. Hmm. Can I be sure that James's wealth is only due to being an archaeologist? I already read that. Didn't I? Puzzle box. Right, what did I say about the puzzle box? Didn't find the puzzle box. So there's probably going to be some kind of. Puzzle. Wait, I just got a key. Does that open anything? Does it maybe open the ghost book? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> like maybe if I can angle it, but sadly no. A terrible wildfire caught the town's factory. This is May 11th, 1941. Causing death of over 30 people. Supposedly the fire was caused by someone, according to the investigation, but the people of Beggar's Hole blame it on the dark history of the town. In the past, the city was known by the large number of demonic cults, witches, and 
death. Over 70 women were victims as a result of it, with the belief they were witches. Whether the fire or the factory was man-made or by supernatural force, only time will tell. Now that is sensational journalism. Sorry, sensationalistic. Uh, huh. Must be something new in here. Can I just walk out this door? Yes. What's that? Ah! Wait! You got scared of that last time. That surprised me. What the hell is it? <laughs> I don't like the look of that, pal. Forcing me to go upstairs. No, I can't get upstairs. I can get upstairs. I, I don't know if that's better or worse. Can I? What the hell? Can't get through there. What's over? No, it it can't be. This. This is Mr. Sharp's home. William Sharp. The B Sharp. <laughs> Dear diary, I miss my dad again. He's working all the time. Dad is never home. When he's home, he works too. Mum is very sad. I love to show him what I draw, but he does not see. Yesterday I drew four pictures, but dad is still in his office. I'll show them to him. He must see them all four before going back to work. Hmm. So we appear to be in the home of Sergeant Richard Sharp. Oh, Clue one of four found. Why did you burn the child's pictures, Richard? Um, because it was easy. I mean, what? <laughs> Mr. Sharp always kept his magnifying glass during a case. Woo! That wasn't a clue. Wait, how could a magnifying glass not be a clue? It's magnifying glass. When is a clue not a clue? When it's a magnifying glass, obviously. Mom, I don't know. Curly cane. Is that a load of blood? Or is that Oh, well, you found cane, so where's Abel? Or the Undertaker. Well, that appears to be a bloody closet of some kind. I hate you when you have them bloody closets. Bloody closets. The door is Especially locked. when people try and burst out of them. <laughs> Often to surprise. On the floor. The floor? Ah, of course. Thank you, Deck. So I'm looking for pictures drawn by. Pres oh! A child. Right, okay. So I should be able to find two more photos around here, right? Photos, pictures. Letters. Alan Sharp, the man himself. Oh God. Dolores Sharp. Dolores Sharp and cruel and um, unfeeling. Sharp. <laughs> unfeeling. <laughs> what else? How else would you describe it? Um, unyielding. I mean, that's basically the same as what I said. <laughs> you fail English, that's unpossible. It's a, it's a small circular thing, a drawing. 
supposed to be some kind of time piece. Oh, I thought it was one of those little things, you know, that kids used to make. We used to turn them and they used to change things. Spirographs. I don't know what it was called, so I'm going to say yes. Excellent. And it was just like them two pieces of paper that would pin together. Is there anything on the ceiling? The door is locked. The door is locked. Cheers, Sam. Really? Freaking hell, he's a genius, isn't he? Master oh. detective at large here. Locked door is locked. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Uh huh. Apparently we're in a void. <laughs> some kind of void of some sort. Right, we'll check behind the curtains. Never know. People put kids' pictures in the strangest of places sometimes. Wait, turn around a sec. Go forward. Go forward. Forward. Now looking, looking straight. That's Jesus. Jesus. I said go forward and you just... There. That, um, that chair's on the ceiling. Yeah. It's been there a while. Turn. Bit. What's that? Well played, Dirk. Oh, lovely. Your fault? Oh, they even got the correct uh, usage of the word, your. I failed you once, Mr. Sharp. I won't do it again. Oh! What the bloody piss was that? when there's rocks floating in the middle of the floor. Yeah, I do a bit. Surrounded by nothingness. Endless void filling your life. Endless void! This reminds me a bit of... Bioshock Infinite. So he got so worried he rubbed all his hair out. That's how he looked at home. Oh no. Can I interact with uh, this scene at all? Don't you hate it when you try and make your head into a magic eight ball so hard that you end up making yourself fall? I know, man. Rub it for good luck. It's a uh, constant worry of mine. There must be something I can do here before we proceed. Mr. Sharp offered me a job when I most needed it. Money to help me cover my sister's medical expenses. He looks like a friendly chap. That looks like he's wearing a toupee, but you know. That'll be hell, toupee. Toupee or not toupee? <laughs> that is a question. Definitely a question. Definitely a question indeed. Oh. He died two pays. Can you what? He died them. I don't see why not. And damage them though. Local man points at pot. I hole. point at all the things. Bloody shoes. Finger of power. He was like a father to me. He taught me everything I know. 
Well, he didn't teach you very well then, did he, mate? I'm not going to lie. You are not the greatest detective. We went into a house to call to talk to a man called Richard Declan. No, really, if you haven't watched that one, go back to a couple of episodes ago. The guy's legitimately called Richard Declan. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. And somehow we're in the void now. So this hasn't been our greatest case, has it, Dirk? No, oh, he's got about them as much detective skills as Scooby Doo at the minute. No, oh, Scooby Don't. Oh, what's this then? There's be a filing cabinet. The infiltrator wow. case. Davenport, Ohio. It's a bit confused with Davenport. I've got what the bloody hell? news were all over the papers that day. Oh, the news was all over the papers that day. The great Alan Sharp and Samuel Withers uh, called to aid the people in the infiltrator case. They suspected government high officials were involved, including a cruel murderer who set his victims on fire. Little did we know that this case would break Alan and me like never before. Oh, is this going to be that friendly chap that we briefly met earlier on? That was like, go stop me. Uh, let's say yeah. Nope, can't pick this rusty gun up, apparently. Cool. The rusty gun? Is it like the kitchen gun, but wait? <laughs> it is, mate. Mmm, beans. Oh, is this, is, this, is this like the scene from Denim? From Denim? Denim, you know... The film with Mr. Wilson. Oh, the um, Menace. Yeah. I didn't want to say Dennis the Menace just in case you like got the other Dennis the Menace. So you mean Dennis the Menace, not to be confused with Dennis the Menace. And and now you know why I didn't want to mention it. The Mr. Wilson one, not the Nasha one. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. The deeper we delved through the mystery, it was clear that the rumours were true. High military officers and government officials were involved in a criminal conspiracy. Although we didn't know what exactly, we knew it had something to do with kidnapping people, even kids. And we firmly agreed to go all the way to the bottom of this terrible revelation. Don't you hate those conspiracies? I do, mate. Where they make you rinse more than once. Um, rinse and repeat. Um, sprints and say. Completely butchered that word now. You know, that's <laughs> what people think about um, washing your hair as well. You're only supposed to wash it like once. What? Ever? No. Not ever. Well, I, I actually do know some of somebody who wants to wash their hair for six months. And then it was self cleaning, but that's disgusting. They said it was like the most difficult thing to do in their life. And they actually did wash their hair once and it stopped doing it, so they needed to do it all over again. Um but they just couldn't do it. I don't think I could like let it get to that stage. I have you know probably have a shower maybe once a day or every other day at least. Yeah, but that, that's not that's not the same as washing your hair though, is it? But yeah, yeah, I wash my hair, like, most of those times. So I can't go back that like, way, so um, there must be something over here that I'm missing. Is it this tyre? Oh, gosh, I'm tired, Dirk. That was awful. But no, yeah, um, because people think that you... Like, on the bottle it says, rinse and repeat. And people are... You know because of the show Lizzie McGuire? I'm vaguely aware of it. Well, it, there's a line in that that says, oh, it's just to use up more of the bottle. Which is actually a dumb thing. Because it's not. There's clearly a reason for it. Um, because it's actually clean, you know. Um, whereas the first one's just to watch out all the cack. Um, cack. Yeah, cack. Like all the gubbins. <laughs> um, but people were like, people were like, oh no. Um. 
It, it's literally just to use up more bottle. It's like, no, it's not. It's their fairy head. So, you know. So, a lot of the general public only wash their hair, like, hair off as well. As it's supposed to. Interesting. So, yeah. And then there's me. I use two in one shower gel and shampoo. <laughs> that's not. That's still not the same though, because you're still supposed to wash your hair. I'll wash your hair twice. Oh, no, that took a turn. You wash my hair. My I'll hair. Wa I'll wash your. I'll wash your hair. Please do. It's very. It's very polony. Polony. Pull on that or something. Why would it let me be up here if I couldn't do anything slightly above the ground? So you can get up, get up to get down, jump around. Well, I can't go back, so it must be down here, whatever it is. Really? You ignored that? I didn't ignore it. I heard it and I chose not to respond. <laughs> That's ignoring. <laughs> Must be something I've missed. Oh. Hello. Detective Sam Withers is on the case. Detective Sam Widgers. Oh. I like the taste of Detective Sam Widgers. Sam Widgers? Oh, it's since you're offering me shit, I'll take a sandwich. Ah, go on then, pal. I can't just be being dense here, can I? I'm, I'm not seeing anything else to, like, interact with. Um, Those are two very separate questions, I appreciate Have you that. tried all the doors? I am going up with a, with a green light or out. Some of them don't, though, do they? Maybe that's what it's expecting me to do. Well played, Dirk. I hate it when you throw somebody out and glass. Yeah. So we come to this. The bane of Alan Sharp. The terrorist shot the canister, jumping through the window. The other one was caught in the explosion. <laughs> Alrighty then. You open the other door. Oh, and now we're back into the void. The summit over there, I can see it. It's Jeebus! Save me, Jeebus. Megan? No! Okay. First. Whoa! Whoa! Stop hitting me, Dad. I'm going to say it first. That sounded really wrong. Come in. Who is it? Might be the other door. Could be the other door. This one. My grandpa's cabin. I used to come here when I was just a kid. How did I get here? How did anyone get here? I can't stop this feeling. Oh, okay. Paint. Use paint bucket. I can see the number three inside. Can you? Oh, yeah, so you can. 
You get it. It's a paint can. Igloo, that's got to have a weird number on it, right? Yeah. So, sorry, I was um, I was so taken back by your awful, awful words that I just left. <laughs> I can't quite. God damn it, this is ungainly. Oh, come on. Maybe I wrote it in my journal. Yes, <laughs> the number one. Thank you, Journal. Journal Sanders. <laughs> Journal Sanders. Oh man, KFC have got to have released a, uh, you know, series of journals based on that. Well, in Japan, they um, it's tradition to eat KFC on Christmas. Out of what? It's a tradition to eat KFC on Christmas Day. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a part of um, the Colonel's, like, finger-licking Christmas campaign they had in Japan. Ah, oh, I see. Because it was cheaper than having a massive, like, meal, like, a massive, like, Christmas dinner. It took hold, so... Fair. They have, uh, they have like, Christmas Left mouse button to interact. Plastic pin. Wow. Oh, I can do, do this maze with now. Use yeah. was to move the maze pin. Oh. What am I trying to get to? Wasn't I expecting a weird maze. I mean, this is really simple, Rick. Right? You say it's amazing, Dirk. No. It's like one of these uh, fidget boxes I've heard so much about. But let's say, yeah. The shite on every side. I find them quite intriguing now. A friend in the middle travels up front, another on the left follows his lead. Third one on the right is very last, all of them searching the gates of flame? Fame? Huh. What abs? What the hell's going on now? Maybe you're supposed to put something there that you get from the other ones? Oh, I need to find something to light it up. Okay, let's find something to light it up. I think I saw some matches on the table. Pick these up. After that, pick that up. It would seem as well. A lot of weird stuff going on, Dirk. Is that matches? No, Richard, it's a battery. Well, I was half right. And please join us next time where Richard figures out that two half rights don't make a right. And three wrongs don't make a right, or a left. Three lefts do make a right, though. N no, they don't. They do. Well, take care, have a good one. Bye.